Our next category in the 2023 Monster Hobbies Build a Monster Contest is Concepts and One of a Kinds. Now this is where the model builder will take an existing out of the box model, assemble it, but change it in some kind of way. Maybe a replacement head, maybe some extra hands or arms, or setting it up in some kind of other thing that turns it into a concept in its own right. So without further ado, let's check out the entries in these and then we'll announce the winners. So here we go with a recap. Kurt duplicated this scene from the 1935 Bride of Frankenstein movie. Kurt's model features reworked arms, hands, head, and legs, as well as a new base and ropes. This one is entitled, Crazy, Am I? Mark says, this is the Monsters in Motion 1 16th scale resin figure of Colin Clive as Henry Frankenstein. I added styrene angle trim to the laboratory machine with metal tube connectors, wires, and two clamps attached to the electrodes on top. I printed dials on paper and glued them to the round instrument faces. Plastic domes cover the dials. The machine was cast with three featureless knife switches. I removed them and used only the hands to make two more accurately detailed switches from sheet styrene and tube. The brain jar and reduced anatomical drawings were added to the base. This is Baragon, a bilking kit with no particular scale. And Paul says, In the movie Frankenstein Conquers the World, Baragon's horn is illuminated with a pulsing light. So I replaced the kit's vinyl horn with one of resin and attached a pulsating LED to it. Paul's next entry is called Godzilla Dream. This is a Billiken Polar Lights non-scale model. Paul says the idea of just positioning a Godzilla model, in this case the 1954 Godzilla model from 1993, with a miniature scratch-built mushroom cloud came to me in a dream. I added some buildings from the Polar Lights reissue of the Aurora Godzilla to the Sea of Smoke. This is not a diorama as it doesn't capture a moment in time, but rather illustrates a concept, Godzilla as a metaphor for the bomb. And in Stephen's own words, he says, I remember building this kit as a kid around 1968. I figured it would be fun to build again. Built this one about 12 years ago. Not sure what his skin color should be, but I remembered that I painted him green the first time. So as an homage to my younger self, I painted him green again. Not sure if he drank those sodas or his visitors did. Weren't those some wonderful models? We actually had five contestants enter into that category. So without further ado, let's find out who got bronze, silver, and gold. And Floyd, could you please pass me the envelope? And here we have the envelope once again. So let's open it up and see who got what. So to begin with, in bronze, we have Mark McGovern with Crazy, am I? Coming up in silver, we have Kurt Schmidt with the Frankenstein on the stake. Now I know Kurt did a lot of modifications into that, so that was a really awesome, great model kit. And in gold for first place, we have Paul Anselmo's with Godzilla's Dream. That one was quite amazing. So a big round of applause for all our contest winners. And now let's check out the next video, Totally Wild, by clicking on this right here.